This is a map showing the future of food production. The red places are where it will become more difficult to farm. The blue places are where it will become easier to farm. This shows how the whole food production industry will shift over the next few decades. To start off, I will look at what countries will be winners and losers from this shift. Then I will show which crops will become cheaper and more expensive based on this. Already now I can reveal the future of my coffee drinking habit looks expensive. This video is based on an amazing article by The Economist, where the cause of this shift in global food production is the rising global temperature from greenhouse gas emissions. This map shows how farming is predicted to change over the next 30 years. The red places are where crop yields will decrease, while the blue places are where they will increase. This points to some regions that will be winners and some that will be losers from this shift. Some areas that will lose from this shift will be the following. Eastern USA, where maize might stop being a viable crop. Southern Africa, where rice production will be hurt. And Brazil, where the output of rice will decrease. This shift will also create opportunities. Some large winners from this shift will be the following. Northwestern USA and Canada will be better for wheat production. India will have more rice output from increased rainfall. And Western Russia will become much more suitable for wheat production in the future. This map only shows what land will work well to farm on in the future, and not what crops that will be farmed. So let's look at what crops will benefit and suffer from this shift. This will also drive what will become either more expensive or cheaper in the future. One crop that will suffer is the coffee bean, that is mainly grown in this region. It will suffer because of not being able to survive extreme temperatures, and this area will get much warmer in the future. This lower yield will make it more scarce and therefore drive up the price, which will lead to future cups of coffee being more expensive. There are also several other crops that will be affected, such as the ones that make up large parts of what we eat. These are potatoes, rice, wheat and maize where two are positively affected, and two fare much worse. Potatoes will have an increased overall yield, since longer growing seasons should boost output. Maize will have a decreased overall yield, since it is very vulnerable to heat when soil moisture is low. Wheat will have an increased yield, since production can expand into warming regions. Rice will have a decreased overall yield, since drought will hurt the output in several areas. Combining these last three crops yields predicted change over the next 30 years creates the shift shown on the heat map. Even though this looks like a probable scenario right now, it still might not happen as expected for two main reasons. The first reason is that temperatures might not rise as much as predicted, making this shift less extreme. The second reason is that crops could be genetically engineered to better withstand these changing conditions, which would make the decreased crop yields less likely. What this analysis points to is how both where people grow food and what food will be cheap or expensive is likely to change in the future.